Welcome back everyone. Here we are, we're gonna show the bonus video, and this is the very final video of Sphinx. So I hope you enjoy it, and get ready, because as soon as it loads up, you're gonna watch it, and I'm gonna be quiet. Here we go, I think. In an ancient land, swept by the sands of time, a young warrior begins his epic quest to fight the ultimate evil. THQ and Eurocom Entertainment set the stage for Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, a new action adventure filled with mystery, suspense, and a deep, compelling storyline. The game design veterans at Eurocom Entertainment are well known for developing successful franchise titles like Crash Bandicoot and James Bond. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy gave them a chance to use their experience, depth, and innovation to create something entirely original. In, in every aspect of the game, we've really tried to uh, push the originality as much as possible, whether that's character design, game design, the way the characters interact with each other. Really, with Sphinx, it's been great because we've got the opportunity to do the game that we've always wanted to do. Drawing inspiration from the mythology and mystique of ancient Egypt, the team freed their imaginations to create a stunning and intensive fantasy world with a rich diversity of landscapes, architectures, and characters. It's a level of production quality, really. I mean, it's when you look at everything, the, the attention to detail that Eurocom's put in the game, that really inspires you to, you know, to look in every nook and cranny for, for things. And, and you're just exploring uh, the whole environment that's, you know, beautifully detailed and beautifully constructed. At the center of this story is Sphinx, a brave and headstrong young demigod. Accompanying him on his journey is the mummy, a reluctant hero who has special abilities and remarkable resiliency. <laughs> The world of Sphinx is inhabited by over 200 unique and highly imaginative hand animated creatures. In bringing these characters to life, the animators begin as actors, taping themselves for reference and carefully studying the nuance of every movement. Nothing was off limits in terms of character design. Uh, we just let the guys run wild with uh, their imaginations and just throw as many ideas in as possible. And that way we've just been able to cherry pick the very best ideas and use those. So, yeah, there's uh, a, a real advanced animation blending system that Eurocom's uh, developed that really is what provides you know, the feature quality animation in the game. Uh, the Sphinx moves so fluidly and so realistically and he transitions from different states you know, beautifully. The result is feature quality animation with a level of expressivity and naturalism never before seen in interactive gaming. rich and compelling score in Sphinx combines both Eastern and Western musical influences. The um, music in Sphinx will be like a Western orchestral sound, but uh, we're going to tilt it towards an Arabian feel slightly, so an Arabian kind of sounding scale is like based on the minor scale. These haunting and powerful melodies draw the player deeper into the Egyptian fantasy world. Combining action, adventure, and platforming elements, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy pushes interactive gaming to its limit in an exotic and challenging playground. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Alright everyone, what did you think of that? I think it was kind of a load of patootie because I think some of those monsters in there we never saw. Which I know that happens in beta testing and so on and so forth. And a lot of things never make it to the final design, but nonetheless it kind of struck me as duty. I mean, 
that monster that was spitting fire, I do not know what that was about, because I don't think we ever faced that monster. If I'm wrong, prove it. Oh man. As for that place where we supposedly saw the Sub Queen, I do not know. So, yeah, it's a mystery to me. So anyways, this has been Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I have been very excited and very happy to play it, and it's been a great experience for me, and I hope it has for you too. So feel free to leave comments, leave, leave messages. I mean, I'm open. I want to talk about it. Feel free. So yes, this is your Sniper Wolf signing off. Stay tuned for the next LP, which is Finishing Spiral. And I know I've said it a dozen times, but it's because I'm not kidding. Anyways, happy gaming. Bye.